What up, Undertoads and Toadettes? If I haven't mentioned it yet, I'm a huge fan of gaming nights with your friends. And this game is right up there in my personal favorites when it comes to playing with a room full of people looking for bragging rights. I am totally in love with games where you partner up with someone and ride it out to the end with he or she in a gaming tournament for better or for worse. And if you're on my team in this game, it's for the better. It's a Summer Heat Beach Volleyball for the PlayStation 2. Touch. During your journey across the country in your Summer Heat US tour or simply against a friend in an exhibition, you'll find that the movements of the players are one of the best qualities of this game. It's not really a stiff motion, but overall your players handle well when you go for a spike on offense or a diving save on defense. Mainly what I love about this volleyball game is being able to change the direction of a spike at the last minute while you're airborne by hitting the triangle button. But watch it. If someone expects your change in direction close to the net, they can block it. And since you're still somewhat in the air during the block, the timing is perfect for your opponent since you're going to be out of position. In other words, you're f***ed. Music tracks in this game are very appropriate given the beach scene of the game. You can sit back and just let them play through since they're mostly all enjoyable. What I like with the music is they allowed you to pick whatever song you want whenever you want it by hitting pause to change it. Some of the tracks, however, I will admit are really irritating. To the point where I have to change the song immediately. But if you're having a gaming night, you can really just hit mute and put on your own tunes. I'm not talking down the creator's playlist for the game. I'm just saying that a little Bob Marley suits this game perfectly. So for now, I guess I have to settle for a little Sum 41. The unlockable character is a little extreme, but hey, as long as it's fun, I don't really care. My favorite hidden player is the Enigma, since he looks like the Matrix screen that they watch in the real world. But if you're going to play this with friends, I'd first establish whether or not a person is allowed to be one of these unlockable characters. Because if a player on a team plays as one of these characters and someone on the other team doesn't, to put it lightly, the team that simply chose the characters that are given to you at the start of the game are going to get their asses kicked. Plain and simple. The unlocked characters are just too good. I found that if one person plays as one, everyone should just to keep it fair. If it came down to it, I think Incognito could take two people at once. I mean, her stats are just through the roof. My friends and I have a rule. If you're going to be Incognito or Enigma, then your partner has to be Tia, since she just straight up sucks. Sorry, Tia. Ball in. And if I haven't mentioned it yet, I'm all about the bonus minigames. Just as long as they're fun, obviously. I mean, if the minigame sucks, why even put it in the game? Seriously. I've seen minigames that are worth less than an autograph from Corey Feldman. But that's not the case here. This game is a party game to the fullest. Not only is the volleyball gameplay sweet, but you can also play three other games as well. From my experience, the most fun is the Beach Bowls game, which is actually bocce ball, but played with beach balls. It's a game of determination against your friends to get that damn ball as close to the jack as you can. So if you're a fan of multiplayer games and unlockable content that allows you to do more than just what the game was intended, then this game was made for you. So in honor of the design of the Enigma, I'll wrap this up in Matrix terms. When it comes to Summer Heat Beach Volleyball without question or hesitation, I recommend that you take the red pill. Ball in.